today i'll be cooking venison curry venison is deer meat and in the uk it is widely eaten there aren't many indian venison recipes so i decided to do my own version of it here is 500 grams of boneless venison it's from the haunch of the deer the color shows that it is a very gamey lean meat since the animals roam wild and get lots of exercise Venison, if cooked right, is a gourmet's delight. Here are some other ingredients that you will need. A stalk of curry leaves, some black peppercorns, two dry red chilies, one black cardamom, four green cardamoms, one star anise, some cloves and two sticks of cinnamon. You will also need two medium red onions, roughly ground, and some roughly chopped ginger and garlic, around three tablespoons of it. We need to dry roast the whole spices over a gentle flame for a minute or two to release the oils. Make sure you don't burn the whole spices, so keep stirring and make sure it's on gentle flame now we are going to grind the roasted whole spices in a mortar as I'm doing here we are looking for a coarse grind as shown here Heat 3 tablespoons of oil in a heavy bottomed, preferably cast iron pot. In go the curry leaves into the pot. Followed by the onion paste. And the ginger garlic paste. Stir for a minute on high heat. Then add the venison meat into the pot. Fry the meat on high flame to seal it and to preserve the flavor. Fry for at least 4 to 5 minutes. And then add the ground spices into the pot. Blend the spices well with the meat. Keep stirring as I'm showing here. Now add one teaspoon of turmeric. Half teaspoon of red chili powder. salt according to your taste. Fry everything well. Keep stirring. You don't want the spices to get stuck at the bottom of the pot. In goes the creamed coconut. I am using a creamed coconut from a packet. Around 3 tablespoons of it. Blend it well with all the other ingredients. Keep on stirring until you get this consistency. After some time you will see the color has changed and the oil has come to the top. Now add some tomato passata or tomato puree or even fresh tomatoes. It's entirely up to you. Fry them with the meat. Blend it all in. Now 
Now add water to cover the meat fully. Stir and scrape off any spices stuck to the bottom of the pot as I'm doing here. Now put the lid on, lower the flame and cook for at least 45 minutes. You need to slow cook this meat. After 45 minutes, take the lid off and check if the meat is tender. This looks like it's done. It's cooked through, it's tender and the dish is done. It's time to plate up this gorgeous game curry. It goes well with both rice as well as naans or chapatis. Here is my very own special Indian style venison curry which is completely original. Give it a go and enjoy.